Heath Ledger's tragic death from an accidental overdose of prescription medication on January 22, 2008, sent waves of shock and grief through the entertainment world. Heath's passing touched millions, from those that knew him personally to those that only knew him through his screen performances. The closing party for G'day USA, a week-long celebration of Australians making their mark in the US, was being held only a few short days after the news of Heath's death was made public. The sad news cast a shadow over what would have otherwise been a happy occasion, with all present taking a moment to honour the late actor. Oh, I, I, I think it's a tragedy, no matter what country you come from, when somebody so young you know, loses their life like in such circumstances. You know, I really feel for his family and, and uh, especially his daughter. You know, I've, I've got a daughter myself and, and I've someone to go through that and, and never really know their father's a, a sad, really saddening thing. I mean, there's been a huge outpouring of, you know, grief for, for Mr Ledger's death. I didn't know him particularly well. I knew that I was very inspired by his work as a young artist, particularly as a young Australian artist. And I think, you know, I can't imagine the awful pain that his family is enduring and my heart goes out to them but I also think that he will be remembered by his his performances which were truly extraordinary. As well as fellow Australians Shannon Knoll and Rachel Taylor, Heath was remembered fondly by Americans present at the event, such as Law and Order actor Diane Neal. It's absolutely tragic and you really feel for his friends and family and people that really cared about him and it really it's a tragedy when anyone that young dies whether they're famous or not famous, it stinks. And you know, your heart goes out to them and, and to all the Australian people you know, who absolutely loved them besides everyone else in the world, so. It seemed that everyone else in the world was deeply saddened by the loss of one of Hollywood's most talented young stars. Even those who knew Heath not as a movie star or a celebrity, but simply as a neighbor. From the little I saw of him just living a few doors down, he just seemed like a really sweet neighbourhoody kind of guy, very down to earth, um, sort of kept to themselves and, you know, no, the sort of antithesis of whatever stars are supposed to be like. Just one day after Heath was found dead, fans constructed a makeshift memorial outside the actor's apartment in New York City, leaving flowers, candles and handwritten messages. Some even took time out to say a prayer for the fallen star. It's really, really sad. I mean, I, I just so hard to believe for such a young person to die with a promising career. Celebrity, whatever. Just, he's a young guy. That's really sad. That's much, that's much sadder to me than the fact that he's a celebrity. Just like he's a young guy. And I guess you could say that because we actually saw him. He's like a real person in some sort of tiny, minuscule way. Like, you know, you register as a real person, not just something printed in the magazine. But mostly just it's sad. And like, he has, a, he has a young kid now. That's just really sad. I mean, I was, I was shocked, you know, to find out about it, of course, because, you know, he's so young. Um, but, um, I mean, he's, you know, it was, he's such a brave actor, uh, making the choice of um, doing Brokeback, um, because so many people would have considered that career suicide. He proved that you can play, you know, a sympathetic 360-degree gay man and not, you know, end your career, but really take a new step in your career. Likewise, Hollywood stars who had never worked with Heath, but who had followed his work, were vocal in expressing their sadness at his loss. Just an unspeakably sad thing, and I think everybody's hearts and thoughts go out to his loved ones. Heath never lived to see the worldwide phenomenon that his final movie, The Dark Knight, would become. Speaking at the movie's Los Angeles premiere, Director Christopher Nolan remembered Heath as a talented actor and a friend. I found it uh, really quite, you know, satisfying to watch his finished performance in the film because it's so different to, to who Heath was. It's, it's polar opposites. He was such a lovely, gentle, you know, reasonable person. Heath was laid to rest at a small funeral service in his hometown of Perth on February 9, 2008. Perhaps the most fitting tribute to Heath came from his friends, who said their final farewells with a swim at his favourite beach, remembering him as the sun went down on a sad day and on a brilliant career cut short. <laughs>